Here's a seven tube setup. T304 stainless steel tubes and tap water in a pasta jar and the outside tubes. If you have one circle in the middle, you can perfectly fit six around it, meaning all outside tubes are touching just by giving one common connection. And so the outside tubes I have um, positive, and then on the inside tubes I have uh, negative hooked up, and the outside tubes are connect or the inside tubes are connected negative and are touching each other with that copper wire you can see kind of wrapped around those. Um, which the copper actually looks black because I don't know, it's absorbing something. But and then down at the very bottom, you can see that um, the lo the middle tubes are longer and so are sticking out a little bit. That way, there's space for water to get up in there and get sucked up into the tube while it's producing the gas. Uh, the power supply is this um, variable AC um, transformer right here, and um, 150 volts, 5 amps. The output of that when it's turned on is coming out this cord, going through that power cord, which I cut off at the end, and I just connected it to a, a bridge here. And so the positive on the bridge is going into this um, cord here, which goes into this amp meter. And uh, the output from the amp meter is going to the um, positive which eventually comes right here and just clips onto that band that I have um, wrapped around those tubes. And the um, negative is just clipped there at the top, right there. And so um, I'm going to measure the volts, and you can see that the voltage right here is 1.343 volts. Dropping a little bit. I had it on for a second. And so even if you take these tubes out, once you're conditioned, and drain the water, put them back into the uh, water, and measure the voltage without doing anything, it'll automatically have a voltage. And so the conditioning process gives an inherent negative potential to the negative tube and a positive potential to the positive tubes, a low and a high. And so anyway, I'll go ahead and turn it on, and uh, you can see what's going on here. Um, it's all seven tubes connected and being um, conditioned and right now it's reading this is a uh, it's on a 10 amp scale but it's halved and so that's 2 amps at 4.74 volts and you know that is really what's leaving the power supply because if I turn it off volts starts going down, the amps off, and that's uh, no more gas production. And so you can see when I turn it on, amps just went up and the voltage is climbing. And so uh, that's less than 5 volts times 2 amps. So that's less than 10 watts to do this. T304 stainless steel tubes for the water fuel cell, anodes positive tubes outside, cathodes negative tubes inside, one circle in the middle, you can perfectly fit six around it, that's the geometry of a circle. Uh, the anodes are very shiny, very conductive, cathodes are very non-conductive with a calcium oxide coating that develops automatically, I can develop that coating in about uh, a day, a uh, day and a half using maybe two amps at... Um, around 10 volts or so and uh, maybe about 30 watts worth of power uh, running it for a couple hours shutting it off running for a couple hours shutting it off and so about day day and a half you'll have that coating now let's look at what the conductivity is and let me get a zoom in of the uh, powder a little bit is on the inside of the cathode but most is on the outside and also it a um, good little mount gets on a uh, ridge. So anyway, you can see that coating is definitely there. And it's easier to see when you take them out and you actually let them dry compared to if they're still sitting in water. Um, you may have quite a bit of that coating and may not realize it if your tubes are always wet. So let them dry out and uh, take a look at them. So anyway, this is a got it set for uh, there's an ohm meter there and I'll show you the conductivity 
so you can see probe to probe is uh, good conductivity there. Now anode to anode or very conductive and if you um, you can see that that white powder coating is non-conductive I mean, it, it scrapes I, I just touched the probes but you can see um, I mean less than a millimeter away there's no conductivity at all doesn't matter which oh, just touched them okay not conductive so there's a couple spots where the stuff is rubbed off and if you hit those spots obviously it's going to be conductive but uh, for the most part you just keep developing this coating and that's uh, restrictive to the electron current moving from the negative tube to the positive tube and that's exactly what you want if you're looking only for uh, voltage potential uh, sitting at each of the plates without the current flowing and so uh, you can see that this calcium oxide coating is very non-conductive and is uh, very restrictive to uh, uh, the current from flowing and so this is very desirable so there you go